Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple AR app using Unity 2017.2 with Vuforia plugin. So first, I'm going to open Unity 2017.2. And <clears throat> uh, Unity just released uh, 2017.2, like early October. So uh, it's a relatively new version. And uh, so they made slight changes, and one of one of the changes they made was now you can control, you can have that before you plug in inside of Unity Editor. So I'm going to show you how you can use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click New, okay, and then I'm going to name my project maybe AR underscore uh, test, and I want to use 3D. Then this is location where your project folders will be saved. So I'm going to save my project folder uh, on the desktop. And other things, you don't have to worry too much about it. So I'm going to click create project now. So now this is uh, what I have. You are probably you are familiar with this uh, default layout. <clears throat> you have hierarchy window, scene, game, asset store, and there's services and inspector. Okay. And then down here there's project console, and then inside of product folder there's asset folders right over here. Uh, since this is a new product, uh, my assets folder is empty, okay. and uh, you. As a default, whenever you create a new 3D uh, project, you will see this main camera and directional light. Okay? Uh, these are what we call the game object inside of hierarchy uh, window. And whenever you click this uh, game object inside of hierarchy window, if you look at the inspector window, it will give you some attributes uh, about that uh, game object. So main camera, okay, you will see this transform. Transform is uh, responsible for its position, location, and scale. And, and here, since this is main camera, I have this camera. Okay. And the camera component. And then flare layer and audio listener. Okay. And directional light, same thing, transform, and this light component. One thing you can play with at this point, okay. Now we are in scene view. Okay. And then when I, if you click this main camera, you will see this camera preview. So basically, this camera preview would be the same as this game view. Okay. You see this? They're pretty much the same. And now, I'll look at the direction of light. The direction of my light is this way. <clears throat> my camera is here. This camera actually looking at this way. <clears throat> so now, my light is right over here. <clears throat> so try to think about... Uh, how it works. Okay, so here my directional light and my camera. Okay, so here I'm looking at this way. This way meaning I'm looking at this way. My directional light is here, so my light directional light is somewhere like here. Okay, uh, like somewhere far away actually, like somewhere here. And now what I can do to play with just to understand the relationship between main camera and direction light. Okay, click directional light, and then I'm going to change this rotation. Okay, so see what's going to happen. Okay, so now I'm going to have this directional light right over here. So my camera is here, so now you will have that intense light source right over here. I'll change this a little bit more. Okay, to now. Okay, here, and directional light is this way. So it's now a little kind of like off the uh, is viewable area. Another thing you can play, I'll go to game. Okay, my light source is right over here. I'll change its direction. Okay. So you can possibly manipulate the direction of like rotation of direction of light and you can create this effect like sunset and sunrise all right so it's not that important but uh, i kind of want to show you 
what you can do with uh, this direction light and main camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, okay, I'll try to think about how we can uh, create uh, simple uh, simple AR app using Beforia plugin. So first thing uh, you need to do, okay, you have to go to Beforia's website, okay. So this is a uh, Beforia website, and if you want to develop a an AR app or a game, you have to actually have an account with Beforia, especially at uh, developers portal. So I'm going to go to that portal, and then make sure you uh, get your account and log in. So I let it logged in. Uh, if log out, I would say, I would see, I think, login and create or register. But anyways, you need to get an account with before ya. And now, <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're going to go to downloads and to see what uh, you need to do. So if you go to downloads, <clears throat> here download for Android, download for iOS, download for UWP, and download Unity extension, legacy, and download Unity. <clears throat> so, if you are using previous version of Unity, like uh, Unity 5.6, 3, or 4, then you're supposed to download this package and import this package manually. But, uh, if you are using like 2017.2, now it says Beforia is in integrated with the Unity editor. Meaning, okay, now Beforia is part of Unity, so you don't have to uh, import Unity uh, before your package manually. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Unity. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to Game Object, and here now you have before ya. Okay. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to use before ya AR camera. The reason why is this is main camera. Okay. But basically, we need this enhanced camera that can recognize uh, the target we are going to use. Okay? So main camera, it, this one has main camera, <coughs> camera component, flare layer, audio listener. <coughs> so it doesn't have ability to recognize or interact with uh, target or image target we're going to use. So <coughs> I need more enhanced camera which is Beforia AR camera. Okay, it said, before it requires some assets to be imported, would you like to do that now? I'll click import here. <coughs> so again, uh, previously, if you wanted to use a Beforia plugin, you have to import this one manually. But now, again, this is part of uh, Unity Editor, okay? Meaning you can see this Beforia AR camera inside of your Unity Editor, especially under Game Object, and if you click Import, it will automatically import these assets for you. So now, as you can see, these assets have been imported. Okay. Editor, streaming, SH, and before ya. Okay, and then now I have this AR camera. So AR camera, okay, as you can see, if you look at the component, transform again, responsible for its position, rotation, and scale, and camera. Okay, so now I have this camera uh, component. So basically, kind of similar to main camera I have. Okay, and this is AR camera, and audio listener, and before ya behavior and default initialization error. Okay, so basically these are some added component to make this camera uh, to be able to recognize image target. So this is script and you can uh, basically this is uh, the coding that allow my camera, this AR camera, uh, to recognize that image target. So now let me try to play this. Okay, now I got some message down here. It said, there are two audio listeners in the scene. 
please ensure there is always exactly one audio listener in the scene. Okay. So now, uh, sometimes you will get this message time to time, and then uh, that basically means there's uh, some like concern. So this one, okay, is like a warning sign, and then this other issues. Basically here. There's two uh, issues. One, please add Beforia to the list of included SDKs in the XR player settings in order to use Beforia component in your project. And then, okay, so there's one warning. And then once we play this uh, like a Unity uh, project, okay, it will detect, oh, there's two audio listeners. Warning, 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 warning. Basically, in every single frame, it detects two audio listeners and give you that uh, issues or that warning. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'll look at main camera and air camera. Okay. So I'll simply delete main camera here. And then, by the way, the reason why you have this error about two audio listener in main camera, there's audio listener, and air camera also has this audio listener so there are two audio listeners so once you erase this main camera delete main camera there's only one audio listener so unity would be happy so now i'll play this okay so now i still have this error so i don't see anything but i no more have that there is two audio listeners error okay so now let me Take a look at this one again. Please add before you to the list of included SDKs in the XR player settings. So here, player settings. If you don't know what player settings is, basically there are settings that uh, that dictate uh, how your Unity project will appear or will be played in the device you are going to use. So to go there, you can go to uh, Edit, Project Settings, and Player. So here, <clears throat> it actually says Player Settings, XR Player Settings. So I have to go to Player Setting first. Edit, <coughs> Project Settings, and Player. Now, Player Settings. And these are different devices. <coughs> so here, this one is PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. And Android, uh, this is uh, iPhone, iPod, Android, and other devices. So here, under here, there's there is XR settings, and you simply need to check before we are augmented reality. If you're going to imp uh, export this one to Android device, you choose this and make sure this before you are augmented reality uh, selected. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just this but this one isn't that critical right now because we're going to use this uh, PC Mac Linux standalone version right now so third step checked so I'm going to go and play so now as you can see it says start before ya and now you see uh, now this is my unity project uh, control the camera in my laptop and to uh, show my face. Okay, so there are some messages here, but no error message, so unit is happy. So now, let's try to think about a few things, uh, few things we have to do to uh, create this AR app. So now we have AR camera, okay? So next step would be, we want to have some sort of, okay, before ya and image target. So I'm going to click image. Okay. So now I have this image target. Okay. So basically, okay, you can have this image target game object. Okay. And then we can possibly put something on this image target. And then whenever this AR camera recognizes this image target, we can do something. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I will I don't have anything yet, but I'll just to uh, click play. Well, nothing happens, right? So now, we have to decide 
which image we're going to use as image target. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'll actually go to Beforia's website. Okay. Beforia Developers Folder. Okay. And I'm going to go to Develop. And there's License Manager and Target Manager. Okay. There's Target Manager. Okay. Here, okay, you can add database. Okay. So and then uh, upload certain images to make it, uh, make that to create that image target. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have device create database, let's say AR test 2017 or something. Now I have this AR test 2017 device and no targets at this point and it's created October 25th, 2017 and 1023. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have uh, download some image boy illustration and I'm going to use this image. Okay. View image. And save image as on the desktop. Maybe I'll just rename it as boy or something. And JPEG image and save. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go here. Okay, AR test 2017. And I'm going to add target, okay, single image, and I'm going to browse that image on the desktop, boy, and open, and then name is the same as this one. I mean, basically this name uh, will be, uh, whatever file name will be used here. And the width, let's just put four, okay, four or five. You can use any arbitrary number, uh, but it doesn't have to be too big, maybe around like four or five and add and now it will take well it actually didn't take that much time so now it create this boy image target and then rating is four stars out of five which is pretty good so now i'm going to click download database and for unity editor and download okay, so now i have this guy here so now what i'm going to do okay I'll try to find that AR test to two, okay. Uh, Unity package probably is in downloads. Okay. AR test two Unity package. But now what I need to do, okay, I need to import this AR. Well, I actually spell AT. Anyways, AT underscore test twenty seventeen package into SS folder. Okay. Now, okay, yeah, just uh, import all. And now I'm going to go to image target <clears throat> because we just imported that uh, database. Now you can go to image target behavior on in image target. Okay, you can change it. Okay, uh, predefined database at underscore test 2017. I have this boy right over here. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do. So now I have this image target. And I want to create some interaction, okay, uh, with when uh, AR camera recognize this image target. What I can do, I can create game object, 3D object, like spear, okay. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going, I'm going to make a little bigger, Ooh, five, five, five. Oops. I'm going to scale up. <clears throat> Put it right under uh, maybe too big. Three, three, and three. <coughs> well, right on the image target. So now let me play this. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my uh, smartphone. I download. Uh, I downloaded that boy image, so I can bring that image up. Okay, so I'm going to use this boy image, okay, and I can do this, okay, oh, 
nothing happens and I don't know why nothing happens okay actually I know why is uh, why nothing happens okay so to use before yeah there are a few things you have to do like first especially at this point what you have to do is you have to uh, check before yes configuration so inside of resources okay, you have this before your configuration if you have a hard time to find it you can just go search uh, window right over here in SS folder I'm going to say config then you will see this configuration if you look at the configuration okay there's app license key so you actually need a license key to use this before you plug in okay so let's see that okay one thing you can do, you can go to this before your site. If you haven't created uh, a license, you can go to okay, that portal of before you go to develop and then go to license manager. Okay, and then I create a bunch of uh, licenses. Okay, so you can simply do oh get development key and then app name at test or something. If you just basically use it for development, it's free. But if you want to commercially uh, publish your app on uh, Google Play Store or uh, App Store, then you have to pay. They usually charge $500 for a single product. If it's a bulk, if you use a cloud service, like $99 per month, I think. So now I'll just use Add Test, click, and confirm. Then now I just created this Add Test. Okay. And then go there okay and then you'll get this license key i'm going to copy this go back to unity and paste it right over here and click add license key oh actually no 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 i already did okay so now okay it should be fine and another thing i have to think about though okay here i have to look at this data set okay I just loaded that AT underscore test 2017 data base data set I have to select this and click activate now it should work I'm going to play and when I do this okay ooh, oh so you can see this okay so now though, oh, see what happens. Oh, my spear is stuck there. Okay. But before we move on, actually, let's look at this console message. <coughs> if you go to console message, okay, it said found trackable named boy. <coughs> and then creating image target with value three, four, five, or whatever. So it's kind of hard to understand what's what's happening here. But here trackable boy found trackable boy lost basically what it means <coughs> if you look at this uh, console message right over here start before you and see what's going to happen when I do this oops get ooh. so now it said trackable boy lost okay actually they should have trackable boy found found and lost meaning so this is how like a uh, coding works. This AR camera, okay, constantly look for this image target. Whenever it found, it recognized that image target, it will give you this message, trackable boy found. And then it will create this spear. So that's basically what happens. And then whenever this image target is like a disappear in front of this camera, it will say, trackable boy lost and then it will get rid of this spear okay but actually it didn't work that way right so we can kind of do this again oh so i have this spear now okay oh my spear is like a top oh here okay but what i'm trying to do is okay. so here because of this uh, glaring it probably didn't work that well but uh, yeah, sometimes uh, when you use this uh, smartphone as an example, 
Okay, because of the glaring, it's hard to understand. Oh, so here, I have this one right over here. But now I have spear. And then, oh. Okay, now track of void lost, but this one doesn't go away. Why? Because, look at your hierarchy window. Image target and spear, they're same level. Okay, so even if these guys go away, okay, it's still like kind of independent than you could just in that game view. But now, I can put this guy right inside of image target, okay, by select this and drag it like this way. Now spear is part of image target, meaning if image target is gone, spear will be gone. Okay, so let's see this. So here I have this guy right over here. And then now as you can see, ooh, this one's kind of go away. Okay, well actually they kind of go outside of the uh, plane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put position as 0, 0, and 0, and put a little high. Okay, so now the position will be a little better. Okay, so like this. Okay. And then now if if you lose your uh, image target like this, then it will go away. Okay, and then appear and go away. Okay, so this is a simple way uh, to create a B, uh, AR app with a single image target. And in in my next video, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, create how to use multiple image targets. Okay, I hope uh, this video uh, uh, is helpful to you. And uh, if you have any question, just let me know.